Alright guys, it's Lou here again. It's uh, week three of the build. Um, you can probably hear me. <laughs> it's just pouring outside and you can hear it through the tarp. But I um, just wanted to say what I've been doing. Started the wiring and uh, got the whole front end wired. Just how I'd like it. Um, I actually bought special electrical tape to make this work but it ended up not working so it wouldn't stick to the wires so they're temporarily there until I go get some new wire or uh, new electrical tape next week. Um, I put the JDM headlights in, a little custom modification there. Hopefully you guys figure it out without me telling you. This is the teaser of what's to come with the complete retrofit. Uh, let's see what else, what else. I have completely rebuilt the front case port suspension. Uh, before it was all rusted and didn't want to adjust very much at all. So that was completely rebuilt, cleaned, pour 15 the springs, also put in pour 15 on the upper control arm, um, this whole arm, whatever you want to call it. Also installed a new wiring harness, ran it into interior, and um, still have that mess to figure out, but that shouldn't be much longer. Installed the DDM tuning kits and the wiring for them. So now it has DS2 bulbs and an H3, 55 watt a piece. I'm um, just having one problem with the stupid 9006 connectors. So I have another video for that. I'll post it as well. So if anybody notices it and figures it out, please let me know because this is like retarded that I can't figure it out. Um, also, completely ran the fuel line all the way back. Well, not all the way back, it's not in the tank yet, but it's as far back as I can go because I can't reach underneath the car when it's that low. Um, let's see what else. I figured out where the main battery cable is going to run. It's going to run... Oh, I'm going to grab it real quick. Right up and over the brake booster like this. There will be a fuse in line, so it's going to come from the battery in the back, come to a distribution block, be a fuse line from the distribution block to straight to the alternator. The distribution block will sit somewhere down here. Um, let's see. Also did the case board over here. I have wired most of the passenger side. Um, there's only a little bit of right up there with the ABS unit, but that should be no big deal. Uh, almost all the wiring that has to go through, it's either been cut, the harness has been completely separated now, minus that big blue wire. Um, there's the old harness that I've pulled out. Hopefully you can see this without too much. The new fuel line is hooked up into every single bracket the factory unit was in. Uh, there the wiring started over there. That ABS sensor is hooked up. That one's not. And I think that's pretty much it. I don't really remember what else I did this week because <laughs> it's been a busy week. So I'll show you one last teaser of where the fuse box is now going to sit. I had a copy Tillian's idea after seeing it at Nalm and going over back and forth in my head. Sitting it here versus underneath the um, driver's side like foot area, it just makes more sense to leave it here. It's so much easier to access. I don't have to pull panels to check fuses. So thank you Tillian for that one. Um, and I think that's it guys. Um, oh, and I completely rebuilt the subframe. So that's all done now. All the poly bushings are installed, new sway bar bushings, poly mounts, anything. It's all been done. That was the big project I had to do. I forgot all about it. But, um, see you guys in another week. Hopefully I can get the HID sorted out and finish up some more wiring. Next week the intercooler should be going on as long as it stops raining so I can run over to my dad's and grab the brackets. Then once that's done, we're throwing a bumper on, throwing the fenders on. Um, they will be Serona fenders. 
It's just I have to make them fitted. If not, I'm going to be selling them. So anybody wants some vented fenders, let me know. And see you guys in a week.